Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to ask the question, or two questions. Um, does the fact that we're moving towards a partnership and cooperation agreement with Iraq mean that uh, politically the EU is recognising uh, the new government in Iraq now? Um, obviously, after the Iraq war and the history there. Um, the second point is about, um, it was alleged at the time of the Iraq war that the two biggest creditors with Saddam Hussein were the French, uh, the French and the Russians, uh, who both opposed the war. I'm just wondering if the credit of Iraq is now seen to be good and whether those loans, if they did exist, um, have been repaid. Uh, but really the wider question is, is the credit of Iraq good, a good credit? You know, can you do... Uh, a cooperation agreement with a country where the credit isn't so good. But it, it's really just to clarify those points. Thank you. To Mr. Campbell, I think that, well, I share the view that, uh, of course, the European Union has to recognize the government because you can't have discussions uh, with a party that isn't diplomatically and politically recognized beforehand. But honestly speaking, um, I can't possibly answer on the credit issue. That's something that we have to perhaps look into. I don't know the answer to that question.